One of my favorite features of OneNote is that I can easily capture things off the screen uh, without having to worry about whether I can select them or not. Uh, this is particularly useful for capturing web pages that are complex or look a certain way that I'd like to keep. So, for example, what I can do here is uh, I'm looking at this web page and I think this is an interesting graphic. I would like to keep it for later. Uh, you'll see that down in the right hand corner there's a small OneNote icon. This icon appears uh, when you install OneNote. It may not be visible here in case you haven't used it, but nevertheless it should still be operational. And What that little application does is it's not full OneNote, it's simply a watcher application that looks for certain keystrokes. For example, I want to do a screen clipping of this graphic, so I'm going to uh, choose the Windows key plus S for screen clip. And you'll see that I'm now able to, uh, the screen goes white, that tells me I should drag out a region using the mouse. So I'm going to click and drag and say I'd like to capture this graphic. I let go, and what happens is this image is now captured into OneNote and along with it below is the URL of where I took the image from. So later when I'm browsing my OneNote notes and I'd like to go back to the source of this picture, I can click on that and it will take me there. Uh, one of the uh, choices I have with this OneNote application is that if I, here I'm going to right click on this and choose options, I can control the behaviors. So the default behavior is to copy the image to the clipboard so that I can immediately go and paste it into PowerPoint, for example. Um, and also to open OneNote and place the image plus the URL into the unfiled notes section. Uh, once you start using this quite a lot, <coughs> you may find that you like to change this setting. Uh, many people change it to copy to clipboard only so that the image never goes into OneNote. They just want to use the feature of OneNote to be able to put the, take the clipping and put the clipping into PowerPoint or another application. Uh, other people like a similar choice, which is the third one here, to copy to the clipboard and put it in OneNote, but don't bring OneNote up right away. That lets you to take a lot of clips and place a whole series of those into OneNote, and then you can manage that as uh, research that you're doing. So another nice thing about these captured images is rather than just being a set of images, <coughs> what OneNote does is recognize the text in these images so that let's say I'm on a different page uh, in OneNote somewhere and I decide to search for all the information I have on weight gain. So I'm going to do a search on weight and go ahead and you'll see that it was able to locate this image based on the fact that the word weight is inside the image. Uh, similarly, I could search on really any word here. Uh, but you're able to find these images that you've collected uh, based on their content which makes them much more powerful than a simple image.